Hey guys, this is a Jordatude review on how to root and unroot your Samsung Vibrant. So this is a Vibrant, it's not rooted. If I click on an app that needs root access, I can show you that it's not rooted because uh, I can't run it. You get an error saying super user not found or super user being the root user. So to root this, you have to download some software and I have links on this blog post. Uh, please read the warnings because this could completely brick your device. But I'm doing this so I can test a whole bunch of apps that require root access. So once you get the software running on your machine, you're going to end up with an app called One Click Root for T-Mobile Vibrant. I have it running here on my second screen. All you got to do is click One Click Root. So I'll click that. Uh, window pops up on my other screen. Drag it over. And all it's going to do is install some software onto the Vibrant. So it has to be connected via your USB cable. Reboots your Vibrant automatically and it tells you to, to uh, uh, the instructions are right here on the screen, so make sure you read that carefully. Once you're in recovery, click the volume down button on this side until you reach reinstall packages, which I just selected there. And then use the power button on the right side here to select that. And that's it. It's going to reboot, reinstall, and once uh, your Vibrant is back up, you'll be uh, in super user mode so you'll have a new application called super user so if you click on your apps then you'll see super user and that'll confirm that you are actually uh, running a rooted device um, a lot of pros and cons um, some of the pros are you can install a bunch of applications that require root access I'm going to be testing a bunch of those like Wi-Fi tethering uh, screen captures like shoot me speed enhancement apps, uh, cleanup apps like CacheMate, or backup apps like Titanium Backup, or battery management apps like Juice Defender. Some of the cons are, um, I mean the big one is if you root your device, there's a chance that you could completely screw it up so it's not functional, and uh, you might void your warranty, so not even your, your service provider might be able to bring it back up, so definitely some warnings there. And uh, rooting may also void uh, other warranties that you might have or may even be against the terms of service of your provider so you definitely need to check on that again this is just for testing purposes and I hope you uh, get to see what I learned and, and decide for yourself whether you do it or not so I've actually rooted this device and when I click on this application that needs root access this barnacle Wi-Fi tethering application let's see if it'll start all right it's running so that's how simple you can do it. Now to unroot a device, you also use the same software. So I'm connected here. It's another one-click way to unroot. So you go back to your one-click root for T-Mobile Vibrant. Click one-click unroot. It's going to pop another window. No, I'm on that side. And same thing. It's going to install some software, reboot your device. And then you have to select reinstall packages using your volume rocker. And then select that using your power button here let's see that's coming up select reinstall packages and select it with the power button and then once it's um, installed and rebooted your device will be back to normal as an unrooted device and you can't uh, run the applications if you installed any that require root access that's it quick review hope this was helpful